everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I am doing um, kind of just makeup that I've been loving over the past month. If you missed my last update video, you might not know this, but I actually went back to work full time and I'm loving it. I love my job. I love working. I love being out of the house every day. It was just the step I needed. I, I was ready to get back out there and I've been loving it. So anyway, because I've been working full time now and like getting ready every day, I have a ton of new makeup favorites that I love for like work. And you guys will be shocked by the eye look that I've been doing every single day because it's something that I've told you I hated for so long. And it's not purple, it's not purple, <laughs> but it's another color that I have been so rude to and I use it every single day now and it's so funny. I've just been laughing getting ready every day. I think about you guys every day, seriously, when I'm getting ready and I'm like, oh my God, they would die if they saw the makeup I was doing every single day. So anyway, today's my day off. I thought I would film a video and I wanted to show you just my daily go-tos. And I love this because, you know, it's not, not I don't wanna take anything away from any recommendations I've made in the past as just being an influencer or from any influencers who are still just influencing full time. God, I hate that word. Um, but I'm really excited about these recommendations because it's literally what I'm using every day for work. So I know it lasts eight hours, okay? I know that it looks great and um, I'm just so happy with all these products and I've found them all on my own. And so it just feels kind of good. I don't know, it's just different for me. I guess it's like kind of new and exciting for me. <sighs> My God, I'm sorry, I've missed you. I could talk forever. Okay, let's just get started. We're gonna get started on my daily face. <laughs> I also have self tanner on, that's why my neck looks terrible. I actually need to remove it all and apply it tonight because like it starts to like settle in the lines of my neck. It's like the most unattractive thing you've ever seen. So forgive me for that, but let's get started. Okay, so first off, of course, I apply a little moisturizer in the morning. I'm using the, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a night cream and I probably shouldn't be using it in the daytime, but I just have been. I've been using it for months. I've got to I got to be getting near the end of this. You guys have seen this a hundred times for me, but this is the Murad City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. It's literally a night cream, um, but I just really like it because it's really lightweight and it doesn't like make my makeup separate or get oily throughout the day. It's just really lightweight. So I wonder if, you know, perhaps it's considered overnight because there's no SPF in it. Or maybe it's because of the vitamin C. I'm not really sure. But regardless, I it's been fine. I love it for the daytime. So just pretend it's a daytime moisturizer. But if you're looking at it to purchase, just know it's probably best for nighttime. But I've been fine with it, so who knows. Anyway, so yeah, I'll do a little layer of this. And I have to thank you guys because I tweeted, what is your favorite daytime uh, sunscreen? because ugh, I gotta take sunscreens. That, this is like my mission this summer. And actually, no, not just summer, but like right now in my life, I need to take sunscreens more seriously. I've been horrible my whole life with sunscreen. I wanted that tan and I'm so annoyed because now my shoulders are just like freckled and sun spotted and awful. So I'm trying to protect the rest of my body <laughs> till the end of time because I hate them. I wish I just had clean, even, pretty skin, and I just don't. I have so much discoloration from the sun. You guys all recommended Super Goop. Did I tell you that already? I was going there, and I didn't say it, but you guys all tweeted me back that you love Super Goop. So I got the Unseen Sunscreen. This is SPF 40. Okay, hello. Super Goop has some amazing skincare, and well, skincare, but, but um, sunscreens, amazing sunscreens. They have sunscreens. I love this, by the way. It's like clear because it's the unseen sunscreen. It almost feels like a primer or something. So I take this. It's so good, you guys. It's not super like, you know, sunscreeny. Like it doesn't smell like copper tone or it's not super white. It's just really, really smooth. I swear to God, it makes an amazing primer. I'm obsessed with it. But I was looking at some other Super Goop products and they have a hand sunscreen. I really want that. I'm gonna buy that soon. They have like lip balm. They have actually literally eyeshadows with sunscreen in them. I'm really interested in those. I've seen a lot of people liking those. They're like a cream shadow pot. There's one in particular that I want. I think it's called Daydream or Sun Glow, something, I don't know. 
it's on my list of things to get. You guys, the sunscreen is so good though. I have to tell you, I'm not like super used to using sunscreen, so I never know, am I putting enough on? Am I not? Like I wanna make sure I get every little part. We have to take our sunscreen seriously this year. What I'm most shocked about with my makeup routine, well, A, is actually, no, this is all so shocking because this is so not me. You guys are gonna be like, what the heck is going on with that girl Shay, okay? That girl Shay has lost her mind. I'm so into dewy. I'm so into cream. I'm so into shiny. Um, and I'm so into layering where I used to be like a foundation only girl, like no primer, no nothing. I didn't do much skin prep and now I'm such a prepper. I'm a prepper, it's crazy. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Illuminate Glow Primer. It also has vitamin C in it. Um, and I don't think it has SPF. Um, but it's really cute. It's very, very sheer, but it gives a really nice kind of golden glow. I actually just wish the bottle was bigger. They sent me this in PR, so I don't know if that's the size you buy or if this is a sample size. I'll give that a little look because I feel like I'm gonna go through it really quickly and I really like it. So I definitely feel like I'm gonna go through it quickly, but you can kind of see, do you see the pretty glow it gives? I mean, I would love to just wear this alone I wish it had SPF in it because if it did, I would just wear it alone on days where I'm running errands or something like that. So for face makeup, you guys are gonna be shocked. First of all, I'm getting into this crazy, crazy part of my life where I'm enjoying sheer coverage, okay? I'm not going for super heavy duty foundations. And if you remember me a few years ago, I was plastering that on thick, thick, thick as can be. I wanted like, like mask makeup face. It was awful. I don't know. These these days I've just been liking more of a natural look to my skin. I like my skin to show through. I have like a lot of little, they're probably sunspots, but like kind of moles and like little freckles and stuff that I like to show through my makeup. And so for that reason, I've been going so sheer, which is so weird for me. I've never, I've just never been this sheer girl. I'm so sheer. So right now I have a few face favorites. I have to give a special shout out because I used all this up. Yeah, I think it's pretty empty. Um, are they still making this? Because I'm going to buy another bottle. This was the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. And I feel like I remember people not loving it. If I remember the reviews quick correctly, I feel like some people didn't love it. I might be making that up. I don't know. I loved this. This was so good. I'm so going to repurchase this, but I'm out. So that's what I was using. Since I've been out of that, I've just been like kind of running through what I have at home. And I have two standouts. This one, okay, this is a full coverage foundation. This is the Huda Beauty uh, Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. It's full coverage. It, it's full glam. It's amazing, but I use it in conjunction with something else. And I actually use less of this than I use the other thing that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, so for that reason, I love it. I wouldn't just use this full coverage all alone. That would feel like too much for me these days, but I'm liking it. The second thing that I love and I've been really, really favoring this, is the Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. I'm so into skin tints right now. It's just, they're so, so good. I think I'm gonna use this today because it's what I tend to grab for the most recently. Um, but those are the two that I kind of switch on and off. If I'm having like a bit of a breakout, I might go for the Huda Beauty. But for day to day, oh my gosh, this is so good. It's really, really sheer. I'll just show you guys a little bit on its own. Um, this is the shade Cool Light, which shocks me because I normally use warmer tones, but I don't think it's that cool. Do you ever get something that's supposedly cool and you're like, this is kind of warm. That's how I feel about it. But it's it's pretty sheer. Um, so I will actually take this. And this has been, I think I told you guys all about this already when I was trying to find my new work makeup in my like little life update video. Um, okay. I have to tell you, I, I'm not into panic buying or anything like that. And I'm sure this is so successful. This is Sam's brand. Is it Auric? Am I saying it correctly? I feel like I never say it correctly. When I first tried this, I hated it because I was using it wrong. I kind of used it as a foundation and it was too shiny for me. I literally can't get enough of it now. And as soon as I can, I'm probably going to buy like three or four to have on hand. Like I said, I don't like to panic, but I don't like to panic buy. But should this ever be discontinued or should she ever stop doing this? I will cry. I need this for the rest of my life. It's the most beautiful thing. I use the shade Selenite and it's, I mean, I know you guys know about it already, but it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I love it so much. So I will get 
just like a little, you know, a dollop of my skin tint. And then I get even more of the art. I like, I, I pump this thing up. Okay, this, I like a lot of this thing. And then I take just Beauty Blender sponge. Some days I use brushes. It's honestly like if I have enough time or if my sponge is super dirty, I'll use a brush. Like, you know what I mean? But sponges all the way. I'm just a sponge girl lately. And I just love the natural coverage that it gives me. And I don't know. It's just, I love the healthy glow. I've just been so into glowing this year. And not so much in, a, well, no, highlighter, yes. I have a new favorite Holy Grail highlighter that I can't wait to share with you guys. That I need it every single day. It's changed my life. Um, but aside from just even highlighter, I like my overall face to just have a nice, healthy shine. My preference has just changed significantly since I've been getting ready every day. It's crazy. <laughs> so just like that. Like, that's all I like for my face makeup. Now, for concealer... I lost the lid and I want to cry. I don't know what I did with it. I can't find it anywhere. It's not on my, I have no idea where this lid went. RMS is like my new favorite brand of all time. I've recently purchased quite a few RMS products and I just, I can't ever go back. I love RMS. So this is the Uncover Up Concealer in the shade 22. I bought this maybe a few weeks ago. And I'll just take a little bit on my sponge. Sometimes I just dip my finger in. Sometimes I just dip my sponge in. And this is where I'll, I will actually get like any of the coverage I want. But it's so blendable and just so nice. I'll kind of do a little bit around my mouth because I always have discoloration right there. And the rest, like that's, that's pretty much it. I don't really feel the need to be covering anything else. Maybe I'll do a little on the forehead just like that that's pretty much my base okay this next part is gonna shock you i'm shocked even telling you this we all love and know we know and love the laura mercier setting powder it's so good so huda beauty um came out with these little <laughs> these little finger triangles and i do really like using these the only thing i don't like is that i seem to lose them so often um but i love them and it reminds me of tati beauty blendy full <laughs> Um, so this is the Laura Mercier Translucent in the Glow Finish. I grabbed this by mistake one day. I thought it was just normal translucent. And then I popped it on and I was like, oh my God, what did I do? And I actually loved it. I loved how it looked. It's crazy. I know. Because like, I just can't believe I'm setting my under eyes with a glowy powder. But I love it. I'll just kind of blend that real quick because I've been talking forever and it's probably settling already. Um, and I'll take that. And set my under eyes with it. It has a bit of a yellow tint to it. It's a little warm and I actually like that for some reason. And I don't know you guys it doesn't look like it doesn't look like glittery or anything. It just kind of has a nice healthy color to it and I love using this little triangle guy. And I'll just kind of go in lightly and set everywhere that tends to crease on me which is pretty much just my under eyes. But I don't like to let it bake for long at all um, just because it is a little more yellow I feel like if you let it bake too long it's going to get super orange so I kind of just set it like that real quick and then I take my brush and I just dust off or knock off any excess and then really really lightly I'll take some on a powder brush because I'm kind of not done with my creams yet but I like to lock in my base and look at that it's still like it keeps my glow it looks healthy and just it's so pretty. I can't believe I love the Laura Mercier Glow Translucent Setting Powder. It's just unheard of. I just, I would never see this from me. It's such an odd choice, but I love it. It it looks so light and glowy and healthy and I love it. I can't get over how much I love it. Okay, now we get into my bronzer. So, oh, this is the Laguna Original. So it's actually... If you didn't know, and I have a video coming up on this because they did send me a PR package, um, NARS kind of expanded Laguna into like all of their bronzers. So they used to have the different bronzer names. Now they're all Laguna, but they have like Laguna Zero, Laguna Two, L Laguna Three. Laguna Two is the original Laguna. That's what I use. So this is the original Laguna. It's the cream bronzer. Can you believe I'm using cream bronzer? It's crazy. 
I like to take it with my, um, this is the Sigma Extreme Structure Contour F4, F4, oh my God, F04 brush. And I'll do, I got too much on my brush, sorry. And I'll go in with that and then just kind of sporadically on my forehead here. I just filled in my brows real quickly because nothing changed with that literally at all. I just use a brow pencil and my brows are always a mess because I just, I'm on a never ending, just never ending path of trying to grow them out still. <laughs> just repair all the brow damage I did to myself in high school. So I haven't had my brows waxed, I'm not even joking you, since I got married. So like three years, I have not waxed my brows. I'm just forever trying to grow them back out. So I'll kind of roughly blend it in with the brush. God, my hairline is a disaster as usual. That hasn't changed either. I'll roughly bend, blend it in with the brush and then I'll take my beauty blender and blend it in with that. But oh my gosh, you guys, the Laguna cream bronzer is so good. I used to be so afraid of cream products and now it's like all I use. It kind of blows my mind. And again, still, I'm like layering, layering, and layering and the super goop hasn't pilled up or gotten weird and I just, I wanna really drive that home because it's so good and I want us wearing our SPF this year. For blush, I have two favorites um, and they're pretty similar actually. I actually think I'm gonna do one on each side of my face because I wanna show you both of them and I'm not like going anywhere so who cares, right? Again, RMS, it's my new life. I've, oh, this is another product that I bought and I just am so crazy over the moon for. I want every single color. This is the RMS Lip to Cheek Blush. So you can use it on the lips, which I do, or you can use it on the cheeks. This is the shade Demure and it's just the perfect baby doll pink. It's so beautiful. The second blush is by Surat. Am I saying that correctly? I never know. This is in the shade Barbie a Papa. Barbie a Papa. God, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm the worst at saying anything. Um, and it's a it's a cream or a liquid blush in a stick form, and it has a sponge tip, and it's kind of that same baby doll pink. So I'll show you them both. I'll tell you. I think the reason why I would like the RMS more is because you know product gets stuck in these sponges and that can be annoying and I also know that it's definitely absorbing some of the product which is annoying. I've thought about just ripping the foam tip off a few times um, but yeah that this is the Surat one and of course I'll link everything down below. I would say this one's more sheer and a little more light and then, oh, do you know what blush I want? It's that pink liquid blush that everyone's going crazy for. What is that brand? Ugh. I don't remember, but I want it so bad. I'll link it down below. Um, okay, and then this is Demure. I'll put that on this side so you can see both. Yeah, I guess Demure's a little more, it's not quite as pastel-y pinky than the Surat, so, and the Surat is definitely more sheer, but it goes on so effortlessly. It's so, so cute. And then this is the Demure here. I love them both. I don't know which one I love more. They're pretty similar pinks, wouldn't you say? Are they that different? I think the Surat's just a little bit brighter, but I mean, they're pretty close. They're pretty close. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Can you believe I'm so glowy these days? It's like shocking to me. So like, that's it for my blush. Real quick again, I will take my powder brush. I don't get any more powder. I just use whatever's on this and I'll set that in because I'm not done with the creams. Can you believe it? I'm still not done with the creams. I still have a highlighter, but I wanna do my eyes first. So that's my face. Okay, for eyes. I have been obsessed with the NARS Orgasm Rising Palette. This is their new orgasm collection. Oh my God, they did send this to me. So thank you to NARS because I, I love it so much. I use it every single day and it's gonna shock you. What color? Can you guess it already? The NARS orgasm -y Shadow Shade. I use this on my eyes every day. How many years have I been telling you guys I hate that brand? See, this is what I hate about the Surat blush. Even though I'm done using it, it continuously comes out the top and I just, I know it gets in the cap and then it's just, it's such a waste and it's such an expensive brand. So I hate that. I'm like half tempted to just squeeze it all into a pot or something. I don't know. It's just, oh, 
I hate that, but I love the blush. I just, I am I die every day when I use this because I've told you for years that I hate brands continuously putting this NARS orgasmy. that's literally what I would say, a NARS orgasmy eyeshadow in every single palette, particularly ColourPop. They put it in there a lot and it drives me insane. And now I wear it every day. I, what's happening to me? It's crazy. So I have a little um, concealer or something kind of settling into my eyes. I just take some powder and I set that. And that's typically what I use as my eyeshadow primer. But I have to tell you, I think I need to start using eyeshadow primer again because I do notice my shadow moving throughout the day. Um, so I need to start using eye primer again. This is all I do. I keep it pretty simple for daytime eyes. I take this kind of beigey warm brown in this palette. This palette is so pretty and I love that it's a pink. Can you see it's kind of like a baby pink? So I take this matte shade and I use this as my crease color. I don't go too smoky, but I do like some dimension. Do, 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 just like so. I don't blend it up too high. I don't want it too dramatic, but I like my dimension. And this is just such a pretty transition shade. Should I zoom you guys in? Sorry. Just get a bit of dimension from that. Same over here, obviously. What I wanna know, what has been your guys' go-to makeup as of late? Tell me everything. I wanna hear your whole routine. Go item by item. Or if you have any suggestions for me, now that I'm a working woman of what makeup lasts for you throughout the day, it's crazy. I'm looking at makeup completely different now and I love it. It's been really, really fun. I love taking into consideration like what's practical for me every day. And then I will take, some, some days I even just use my finger if I'm like really crunched on time here. Um, but I will <laughs> go into the NARS orgasm shade. Is it literally called orgasm? Yep, it's orgasm. I can't believe I'm putting this on my eyes every day. And I just pop that on, but it really is just, it's nice and it's light um, while still being kind of cute and pinky, but not, I don't know, it's just, it really is perfect. I can't believe I hated it for so, I mean, I hated it. I hated it, but I love it now. I love it every day. It's like the perfect daytime shadow for me. I just, I can't believe it. I've My, how I've changed in the past few months. Do you guys have any products that you absolutely like thought you hated and now you use every day and you're shocked? I would love to hear what yours is. This whole video shocks me. Everything I've been using has shocked me. So that's pretty much it. And then I take a little bit of this shimmery shade just with my finger. And I just like to pop that on my inner corner for a little glow. If I'm feeling particularly ballsy one day or a little more glam, I'll pop a little in the center too, just for a little extra. And that's pretty much it. I keep it pretty chill. And then on my lower lash line, I'll just take more of this kind of beigey brown, my transition shade, and I'll just run that underneath, just like so. And then for eyeliner, also shocking, because it's not eyeliner, this is the ColourPop Shadow Sticks in the shade Walnut Ave. It's a matte. Um, and I just, I kind of like doing more of a smoky, lash thing but I will put this on my lower lash line even though it's a shadow stick so I just want to warn you it might not well, like it might not, it might have a tendency to move a little bit because it's not like a water I don't know if these are waterproof but it's not a waterproof eyeliner or anything like that um but I love the color of it it's just a nice warm brown and then I take it along my lash line for just a little subtle definition. And I just blend that in with my finger. Real quick, I do like to curl my lashes. This is the Revlon Lash Curler. Now for mascara, I have been liking using lash primer. This is the Lash Food Conditioning Collagen Lash Primer. I like to just kind of build it up a little bit just because I feel like my lashes are never very long or anything. Um, and so I just like to do a little few quick coats of this. I don't do too much then I feel like my mascara takes forever to dry. I cannot forget the bottom lashes. The bottom lashes are super important to me. And then I top that with the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift that I do love. I love this mascara so much. My friend Anna said that, um, she, I think she said she got a defective one and that it was super like gloppy and stuff like that, which is a shame. Cause I was like, I really like it. Mine's not like that at all. Mine's like very clean. So I don't know. I'm only saying that in case like you had the same thing. Maybe you got a bad one. 
because I saw a bunch of people not liking it, but I like it's so good. I love this mascara and my lower lashes again, super important to me because I just feel like mine are just not very good. So I do spend a little extra time on my lower lashes. I mean, hello, look at that. It's uh, so good. You guys know I'm like super blush crazy. So sometimes like today, I'll get towards the end of my makeup and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I didn't put on enough blush. I need a little more blush. And that's where this comes in. This is the RMS French Rose Hydra Powder Blush. Again, it's so, sh I'm so shiny, I don't care. I love it. I can't stop being glowy. It's my favorite. So this is the French Rose, like I said, or is it French Rose? It's French Rose. Again, a gorgeous pink. And I'll take just a little bit. I try not to get too carried away but I'll do another top coat, <laughs> a little, a blush top coat, if you will, um, just to get a little more in those cheeks. I know this is too much blush for a lot of people, but it's never too much blush for me, okay? I could still use even more. And now I'm like, okay, now I'm blushing. This is, this is right. Okay, now it's my final favorite step. This is my favorite highlighter in the world. Again, RMS, again, purchased by me. I'm not on their PR list or anything. Um, but once I bought my first RMS product, I couldn't stop. So this is the Luminizer Quad. And I'm sorry, it looks gross. I use it every day. Um, and it's just all their, their highlighters, their cream highlighters. That's what they look like. There's a bunch of different textures. One of them in here is like super glossy and it's a little too glossy for me. I want to say it's Champagne Fizz. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's super duper duper glossy. That one I don't love for all day. The other ones up here are a little, I don't want to say drier, but they're, it's not a glossy finish. But I typically take a little bit of this one, a little bit of this one, and I just kind of go like that. And then I pop that right up there as if I needed any more shine. I know it's too much. I know I'm going to get comments saying, Shay, that's like way too glowy for every day. But everyone always loves my makeup, okay? I get lots of compliments and everyone asks what I use. So that's why I feel like it's totally fine. But this, even if I'm not doing like a full face, if I'm just doing like kind of like a little bit of like, you know, a skin tint, and a little blush, I will still always top this on because I love how it looks. It just looks so pretty. It's so, this is the best. And it has like four of their cream highlighters in a palette. That's like so, I feel like that's more rare. You don't find that a lot. And that is basically my full face, but we still have the lips. I have to ask you guys something. This little NARS blotter came in my PR package. Um, don't you think this looks like Jackie Wires, the incredible Jackie Wires? I mean, she could recreate this picture like to a T. I just think this looks like her and I think it's so cute. Anyway, so my lips are pretty boring. I don't like to do anything too obnoxious because I feel like my face is already so obnoxious. So every day, I'll be honest, I just kind of grab something and I put it on. Most likely it's a gloss or just kind of a sheer something. This is the NARS Orgasm um, Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick. Just fits with the whole orgasm face that I've got going on. I don't really often do lip liner or anything like that. I just feel like it's, what's all over my shirt? I think I got bronzer all over my shirt. Anyway, that is it for my everyday makeup that I've been wearing to work. And it might be a little glowy, a little intense, um, but it's what I love. I just can't believe how dewy I like to be these days because this was not Shay a few months ago. I would never be this dewy. And now I'm like more, 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 more. I like can't stop glowing. It's very weird. Anyway, you guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to hear what you guys wear every single day for work. Please let me know. Also, let me know if there's anything that you thought you absolutely hated and now you can't live without. I'm very intrigued by that because that's what this whole video really is and it blows my mind that these are all my favorites because if you would have asked me a few months ago, I probably wouldn't wear half of this. And now it's just, I love it so much. I mean, look at these eyes. This orgasm shade is so beautiful and I deserve a slap on the wrist for all the months, I mean all the years of me hating on this eyeshadow because now I, I need it forever. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.